Welcome back to Digital Wandering. And I hate to be the bearer of more bad news. Okay, so in the previous video, I um, explained how the Pell Moon browser has dropped Macintosh support. So uh, no more Macintosh support for the Pell Moon browser. Uh, and right here I have my iBook G4. And I just want to come with another report on a browser that you should be familiar with. I've shown it on the channel before the 10 for Fox browser. And we have that here. And unfortunately, about a month ago, it was announced that the 10 for Fox browser uh, will cease to be updated. Uh, we still have time. Uh, I think uh, the updates will end in September 2021. So the version uh, that's currently available for download is the last official version. And it'll just be uh, security patches uh, between now and then. So this is a major uh, development uh, because the 10.4 uh, Fox browser uh, was uh, released in 2010. So it's 11 years. Uh, so it's been a long time that this browser uh, was available for uh, Power PC Max. Uh, it, it supports uh, Tiger. That's what I'm running on this uh, machine, uh, Tiger. And also uh, Mac OS Leopard 10.5. Uh, so I've only actually started using this browser when I got this machine. Um, well, you know, that's not 100% true. I did have an Intel version of the browser. The Intel version was not actively maintained. So um, you might hear some kids in the neighborhood playing outside through my window. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the 104 Fox browser has been a really important part of the uh, PowerPC uh, Mac community. And it's just amazing that um, and I think it's been pretty much a one man operation for many years now. Uh, so it's been amazing that it's been around for 11 years. So that's really commendable. And it will continue to work beyond the date of, of last support, uh, but it won't be actively supported beyond a certain point. Uh, so I will uh, link to the is a very long blog post explaining the situation with the browser going forward, much more detail than I can go into in this video. So I will link to that so you can actually check that out. And um, I just want to also show an alternate browser here. Um, so interweb power PC. Uh, so this is still uh, an option for power PC machines and it um, works on 10.4 uh, which i have here for the uh, ibook g4 and i'm opening it now so interweb is also an option um, i think this is the github page here so i'll i'll also link to the github page for this uh, just so that if you do choose to utilize this uh, browser on your PowerPC machine, you'll be able to download it. So this is the GitHub page for the interweb PowerPC browser. Wow, this is a long page, huh? Let's, I'm just scrolling all the way up to the top here. Okay, here we go. And uh, this version here is, I believe, the current one that I have uh, that was released in the 23rd of April. So it's the end of an era uh, with 10.4 Fox. Just want to really thank the developer who's kept that project going for as long. And it still is going on going forward. So it's, the show's not over just yet. But, you know, uh, we see that we're in the closing act right now. I still use the Safari browser a lot on this, even though it's 10 years old. It's 
kind of my favorite browser on this machine because it's kind of the fastest browser but um, you know it doesn't really it can't really access many websites and I showed in the other video how you can use other things like frog find to access old uh, access modern web pages on old browsers so there are workarounds but it's good to have a browser that's maintained so you still have interweb now one thing about interweb how will it be maintained as uh, successfully as uh, the 104 Fox browser and only time would tell I mean that was a superhuman effort with the 104 Fox browser so I have no expectations I'm just happy that there's options out here uh, so yeah this is digital wandering and just showing uh, the details on this machine here so this is digital wandering thank you for watching signing off